for this problem it says the following set of data is randomly selected from an STA 2122 class of mine from spring 2010. The list includes clicker points earned in class and their final averages. Use the data below to find the variance for the random error of the least squares prediction line. So we're looking for the variance for the random error of the least squares prediction line. So this is the random error term E. We're looking for its variance. So the formula for doing that is as follows. We need to calculate S squared by calculating SSE over N minus 2, where SSE is equal to the following, SSYY minus beta 1 hat times SSXY, all over N minus 2. And keep in mind that beta 1 hat requires us to know SSXX. So let's calculate those three sum of square values that we always need for the problems. So we're going to need SSXX, SSXY, and SSYY. Okay, so the formulas for these are as follows. Sum of x squared minus the sum of x quantity squared divided by n. This one will be the sum of the xy term minus the sum of x times the sum of y divided by n. And then this following one will be just like the one above for the x squared, but you substitute all the x's for y. So the sum of the y squared value minus the sum of y quantity squared over n. Okay, let's work out these three values then by plugging in the numbers. Luckily in this problem they've provided us the summary data so we don't have to do it ourselves. So the sum of x squared they tell us is 4,737. 4,737. Minus the sum of x squared. The sum of x is 171 squared divided by n. n in this problem is the number of ordered pairs we started with. In other words, the number of columns you see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So n here is 8. Okay. Then do the same down here. I'll work out the values here in a moment with our calculator, but let's work out the, you know, the formula first. So the sum of xy is going to be 15,013. So 15 comma 0, 1, 3 minus the sum of x times the sum of y, that's 171 times the sum of y is 648, 648 all divided by 8. Then for this one we'll have the sum of y squared, that's going to be 53,000, so 53,856, right, 856, minus the sum of y quantity squared, that's 648, squared over n, which is 8. Okay, so let's work out these values and evaluate their totals and see what they are. Okay, so 4,737 minus 171 squared divided by 8. And when we do that for SSXX, we get the answer 1,081.875. So 1,000 81.875. Okay, now let's look at our next one, our next value in the list. Our next value in the list is the sum of squares xy. Okay, so the sum of squares xy involves us doing the 15,000. 15,000, 0, 1, 3, minus 171 times 648 divided by 8. So I just plugged in all of these numbers, hit enter, and I get the answer 1,162. 1162. All right, let's do the next one then. The next one is 53,856. So 53,856 minus 648 squared divided by 8. And we get the answer 1368 or 1368. Okay, so from here, the next step of the problem is to take those sum of square values and determine what beta 1 is. So let's get our beta 1 hat estimate of the slope value. So we're going to have the sum of squares xy over the sum of squares xx. 
Sum of squares x, y turns out to be 1,162 divided by the sum of squares for x, x is 1,081.875. All right, let's work that out and see what that ends up giving us here. So we'll have 1162 divided by 1081.875. The answer turns out to be 1.074 dot dot dot, right? Let's store that in our calculator as the variable x so we can use it for later without having to round it. Okay, now, once we have our beta 1 value, the next step of the process is to plug all that in, all the known values now into the s squared formula. So s squared is equal to SSE, the sum of square for error, over n minus 2, which for us is going to be the sum of squares for yy, which we saw was 1,368, minus the beta 1 hat value, which is 1.074 repeating, or not repeating, but dot, 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 times the sum of square for xy. The sum of square for xy was a nice even number, 1162. And then we'll divide that all by the number 8 minus 2. So in other words, 6, right? Okay, let's see what that works out to be in the calculator. So we'll have 1,368 minus, I stored my slope in the, I stored this beta 1 hat value, the slope in for x. So I'll just do x times 1162, 1162. Hit enter for the, numer the numerator of the fraction. That's going to give me 119.94 dot 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 divided by 6. So divide that answer by 6, and our final answer for s squared works out to be 19.9901 dot dot dot. Okay, so that's it. Our variance for the error term is 19.9901 on and on and on.